Good morning. About 10 days ago, I did a video called Great Little Cells. I said I'd do a follow-up on it. Well, here they are. Each one of them is uh, the three I made. Each one of them is running a little pulse motor. You see them there. And they've been running now for 10 days, 24 hours a day, non-stop. And they're doing great, as you can see there. Uh, I checked them this morning for voltage, each battery, and uh, they, they, they're running uh, 0.95 volts under load, and when I disconnect them, the voltage on the little uh, homemade battery goes up to 1.32 volts, so they don't seem to hardly have dropped at all. I think they're doing just great. Okay. All right, next, uh, I want to talk a little bit about uh, Jewel Thieves. This is the circuit I put together. You see, uh, by that fellow there, that number 15 on there is my number. I number these and put them in a book so I know what the heck they are. Anyway, that torrid you see in there, about 30 gauge wire, 18 turns on each side there. The torrid itself is three quarter OD, half inch ID. And that came from Electronic Gold Mine. The number there you can see is G16214. I made several of them. You know, there, there's so many of them, they're, the, the, you know, they're almost alike. There's little different changes in them. And here's uh, one I put together. If you can see it there, all right. I'll turn it on here quick. And it's uh, very, very bright. <laughs> it works great. They're uh, real simple to make. There's that little coil I got from Electronic Gold Mine. And uh, they'll draw a dead battery down to probably around 3.5 volts. So they really work good. Not much to them. Anyway, looking at that design, I decided, well, I'll try to do one myself and see what the heck happens. So I, uh, I wound a torrid here. This is uh, 22 gauge wire. It looks like bell wire. It's insulated. There's 11 wraps on that torrid. The double wraps, if you want to call it that. And what I did on this one is I uh, decided not to put the uh, resistor in there. So this one is about as simple as you can get. It's just a transistor, a torrid, uh, and an LED. That's it. I'll fire it up once. I've got a little uh, volt and a half battery over here. And there she goes. And again, very, very bright. And here, just to show you the power that little thing's got off that AA battery. Uh, I made up two boards here. Each one has 30 LEDs on it. And I'm going to hook that up in parallel. There, by the way, the LEDs are all in parallel on them boards. I'm going to hook it up in parallel to this little uh, LED here. And would you look at that? I mean, them things, this, this camera shuts them down when I get close to them, but they're really bright. They're almost blinding bright. And they really work great <laughs> for uh, such a little, little simple thing. So if you want to make something, this thing, by the way, it draws quite a bit of amperage, almost an amp when it's running. But I did a test on it, and I hooked it up to a dead battery. I call it dead battery anyway. I have a big old uh, B cell, I believe. Yeah, it, it's uh, right here. A couple of magnets stuck to it. I, this was uh, at just about a half a volt. And I hooked it up to it, and it drew this down to uh, 0.35 volts before it shut down. So it's pretty efficient at uh, getting that last little jewel of energy out of that battery. Pretty, pretty great. Here's some of Plago's batteries over here <laughs> running an LED. They must be a couple of months old and they're still working if I add a little water to them. They work good. Here's something here I wanted to show you too. This is a uh, LeSabre uh, blocking oscillator. It's uh, very much like the lit motor's penny. And it works great too. It's got one of them little coils from uh, 
electronic gold mine on it I put on there. Anyway, what I did with this, I don't know if you can see see it flashing away there. What I did, a little experiment I did, is I took a piece of uh, magnesium ribbon and I just laid it in the bottom of that uh, cover there, that plastic jar cover. And I bent it to fit the edge there and I clipped it on there. And I laid a little piece of paper towel on it and put some water in it and I took a piece of iron pyrite and clipped it to a clip there and laid it on top of the paper towel. And that has been running now for, I'm thinking, about two months. And that magnesium has not ate off at all. So it's uh, working pretty darn good and it doesn't seem to be affecting the magnesium. Here's the iron pyrite. I ordered a little bag with it online. So that's another great little experiment that's working out good. I don't know how why, but it, <laughs> it's not eating up that magnesium. And back over in here, I talked to you for, before about the water <coughs> and cooking oil. That oil, by the way, was uh, canola, pure canola oil. I said it was corn oil in my last video. Canola oil. And that one there is, if you can see the light flashing there, it is still going. It is gone for a long time now and going strong. I don't know how much longer it'll keep going. This little guy here, I just put together. It's running off of distilled water, a little magnesium and uh, copper um, anodes. It's a flasher that Lit Motor just came out with. I believe it's called, uh, let's see where it is, here, right here. Lip motor, and he, he, he did a replica of it more or less from that fellow there. And it's a one coil LED flasher. That thing works great. I'm having a little fun with it. And one more thing I, I, I might mention you notice I've been playing with a lot of LEDs lately. Well, the reason I've been doing that is I went on uh, online, I went to eBay, and I found LEDs, you know. I've been paying quite a bit, quite a bit for them, you know, but like a buck a piece or more. And over here, you can see a bag of them here. There's a hundred in here. I just got these. I ordered them. They're bright white LEDs. I tried them, and they're really, really nice and bright. These here have a little tiny bit of blue tint to them, but other than that, they're great. And I paid three dollars and seventy-six cents for a hundred of them. Free shipping. That's less than four cents a piece. And I bought these here, a hundred of these earlier, the first ones I bought, and they were like <clears throat> almost eight bucks, free shipping for a hundred. And uh, I did a comparison on these two. I really don't see hardly any difference at all. So if you want to buy them really cheap for less than four dollars for a hundred, this is the way to go, guys. This is the way to go. Well, I think that's about it. Got my little batteries over here just are going like crazy, doing a really good job. Got a lot of little projects going here. Got a little uh, jewel thieves running different off of different batteries that I've been making. Got a pendulum over here going. It's running off a little tiny uh, solar panel. <laughs> and I, I got this one here going that's off a solar panel also. And a couple of pendulums up here. This is that kind of neat one I made with a single arm. You can see it, I guess. They're, uh, the pendulums I have running, they're running off of uh, Plengo batteries. They, they, them, them batteries have been going for, well, I don't know, at least two months now. They're doing pretty good. Some of them are starting to show a little wear and tear. These three here, uh, you can see them. I have them in series and they run that LED. They've been <laughs> that just stays on forever. They add a little water once in a while. Well, anyway, I thought I'd update you on the great little cells. That video I did. I Ten days, 24 hours a day, still going strong. Next video, I'll let you know how long their uh, the batteries lasted. I haven't added any water to them. I haven't done anything to them at all. And you've seen how I built them in that last video. Pretty, 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 pretty good little cell, like I said. And I had a lot of fun experimenting around with this little thing here. It's about as simple as you can get. Transistor. The transistors are the two end two, 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 twos, and 
and an LED and that's it. Okay. <laughs> Still having fun. Hope you're having fun too. Thanks much. <laughs>